So as we know, the Canadian real estate is super heated right now. Everybody I talk to, they believe that this is creating a bubble. And when this bubble can get burst, it's going to lead towards recession. But what is a recession? What is a bubble? Who creates it? Let's find out. What is up, YouTube? This is your host, Yasin Izami, and today I'm going to cover a very serious topic uh, about the recession and this bubble creation and who creates it. Uh, it's a little bit complex topic, so uh, I'll try my best to explain this in the in the layman's terms. So please stay with me till the end of the video. I hope this will be very helpful for you to understand. So before we go into the recession uh, topic, let's just first understand how these banks work. Let's understand that. So as as you know that you know uh, there are two major banking systems, right? So uh, you have Bank of Canada, which is your central bank, the top bank in the country, and underneath that, you know, you have a layer of commercial banks. Now, these commercial banks, they work with, you know, consumers like you and I and businesses to lend money uh, to drive, you know, the economic activity. Uh, and the Bank of Canada is responsible for setting a monetary policy, interest rate, and looking at the economy and, and adjust the interest rate to drive the economy that will have impact on the GDP. Um, and, and Bank of Canada works with Ministry of Finance, right? So they are kind of like partner in crime. Uh, but Bank of Canada has a lot of independence to make some decisions about the finance and the economy. I've been talking about in my previous video that, you know, the Bank of Canada is setting up monetary policy and in that they are basically running a QE program, quantitative easing, which means they're printing money, literally creating credit um, and use that money to purchase government uh, bonds. Um, and these bonds are basically, uh, uh, you know, long term, you know, 10 year bond. And, and as a result of that, you know, Canadian government borrowing money from Bank of Canada. And they're using that money to do, you know, stimulus packages, you know, whatever. Uh, on the other hand, the commercial banks, they are lending money to the consumers. Now, what's happening is when you go to the bank and you ask for a loan to buy a car or, or real estate, um, they create credit. They call it credit creation. So if you Google credit creation, you will uh, you will find out basically they're creating money out of nothing, out of thin air by just punching some key keys into the keyboard, and that's how they create money in the system. So uh, we have been we have been told in the school and colleges that uh, these banks are intermediary financial institutions, right? So that means they take deposit from one one side and then they do the risk analysis and do the uh, assessment and all, all this stuff. And then they lend money on the other side. That's how, that's what ha we have been told in school, colleges and in the mainstream media about banks. But that's not the reality. The banks, they create money, they create credit out of nothing, out of thin air, punching numbers into the system. And as a result of that, they, Ask you to sign a contract, a loan contract, which becomes a piece of security that they are purchasing from you, and it, in return they are giving you credit. In the layman's term, the money is printed, created out of nothing. Nothing is behind that, um, and it is given to you. Now, this is not a new thing. It has been a practice, a financial banking practice for so many years. Um, and this has caused recessions in the history as well. Look at Bank of, you know, what happened in Japan in the 80s. Bank of Japan did the same thing. Look at what happened in uh, 2000 bubble. Look at what happened in 2008. All of these recessions were created by banks, namely central bank through the commercial banks because central bank has the authority over commercial banks, right? So whatever policy, guidance, regulations they set, the, the commercial banks have to follow them. So what's happening right now is if you look at the Canadian landscape in the last 12 to 18 months period since the pandemic happened, these banks, uh, they have reduced interest rate. Now, the purpose of reducing the interest rate is to drive economic activities so that it can contribute into GDP and 
the constitution gets better. Uh, but con in, con in contrast to that, what's happening is the, the banks are lending money on lowest interest rate, but that money is being used to buy financial assets, Bitcoin, stock market, real estate. It's not contributing into the economy. It's not increasing GDP growth. Okay, this is the problem. So when the debt is created, when the credit is created and the, and the consumer are taking a lot of debt and that debt is not contributing anything in terms of economy, this is what we call a bubble, okay? So if you look at this chart, it shows the debt to uh, GDP ratio. Canada is the worst amongst a lot of countries. That means the Canadians took a lot of debt in the last three quarters and we did not perform well in terms of economy, in terms of the GDP uh, growth, because we were in lockdown, no business activity, no jobs were created. Uh, although there were some jobs created, but they were not enough. So our, our ranking in terms of debt to GDP uh, came worst. This is alarming. And this is what we call it a bubble in creation. If it is not controlled, then it's gonna go bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger at some point, these banks will stop lending money anymore and they will increase the interest rate. And this is where the bubble is going to get burst. OK, and when it happens, then what the, 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 the asset prices that that has gone up significantly high inflated prices, it will come down and finally crashed, uh, come back to its previous level. And you can imagine what will happen is companies can go bankrupt, the banks can go bankrupt because they will not be able to pay back the lending, the, the, the money that they took from the bank against the purchase original purchase price, which is not the same anymore. And we call it in the negative equity. So that's what the, the bubble creation means. And when it happens, when the bubble burst, we actually lead into a session, right? Um, so this is what I'm trying to explain, guys, is the, and all these bubbles, even this bubble as well, is being created by banks using their lending techniques or strategy because this can be easily controlled. Like if, if they can define some guidelines, okay, we can lend X amount of money or X percentage of the total lending towards asset purchases versus, you know, for, for creating businesses, it can be solved. What's happening right now that, you know, it's it's uncontrolled uh, lending right now. Banks are lending money. They are not caring whether this is being spent on purchasing financial assets or transactions, or they're right, they're basically going to create some businesses and jobs and will ultimately contribute into the economy. They know that, they have the data, like it's, it's no brainer, right? Uh, so maybe they are doing it on purpose. I don't know, but th it looks like, you know, the banks are not caring about it. They are seeing that the bubble is being created and they're not intervening into stopping or controlling that. It can be easily controlled by Bank of Canada. They can implement some policies and say, Hey, we cannot, we cannot lend more than X percentage of total lending towards real estate purchases, for example. Uh, but it's not happening. Uh, maybe it's on purpose. I don't know. But Ministry of Finance is also fully aware of this. So blaming bank is not completely true. The Ministry of Finance and the government is also uh, in agreement with that. Uh, but well, ultimately, this is bank driven process. So the central banks and the commercial bank are in fully control of this. And they, they are driving this, this bubble creation. So just wanted to share with you guys so that you understand how these bubbles are created, you know, and how this is get, get out of control and, and get eventually burst, which leads to a session. So I hope, you know, this is helpful and make your buying and selling decision wisely. Let me know if you have any help. Uh, I can help you in terms of your buying and selling real estate transactions. I will see you in my next video. Take care.